Hello and welcome to the episode 313 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today we have a fateful meeting, a return to London, and quite a bit of mixing in 1965. On the 9th of November 1960, the Beatles were still busy with their residency at the Kaiser Keller in Hamburg, West Germany. For that matter, they were still a five-piece band with Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. Exactly one year later, in 1961, the Beatles' lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool was attended by NAMM's chain owner Brian Epstein and his assistant Alistair Taylor. They were both very noticeable in their suit and tie attire, right in the middle of a predominantly young and female audience. As we saw in episode 301, Epstein was intrigued about Raymond Jones's request for a single recorded by the band and issued in Germany, My Bunny, which actually only featured the Beatles as backup of singer Tony Sheridan. Check out episode 91 for more information. Seeing that the single was actually selling a discreet number of copies and that the customers were often disappointed when found out that the Beatles had a relatively minor role in the release, Epstein had decided to check out these lads, who happened to play very close to the NAMM's main shop in Whitechapel. Today, he finally showed up. After the concert, Epstein and Taylor went greeting the band in their tiny dressing room. It was an unusual sight, and the Beatles all recognized Brian. George Harrison was the first to break the silence, greeting the pair with a and what brings Mr. Epstein here? To which Epstein requested details about the Sheridan single, leaving after that. But he would be back time and again in the following weeks. The day is also memorable because the Beatles performed their last show at the Litterland Town Hall, their 20th engagement there. The shabby hall had some sentimental value for them, having witnessed their triumphant return home after their first Hamburg residency, as we will see in episode 361. Talking about Hamburg on the 9th of November 1962, the Beatles were busy in town at the Star Club for their second residency there in less than a year. As usual, they performed alone and backing Little Richard. By this time, Ringo Starr had taken the place of Pete Best on the drummer's seat. In 1963, the Beatles flew back to London from Belfast for another stop of their autumn tour, this time at the East Ham's Granada Cinema. Shortly before the show, producer George Martin told them that their single I Want to Hold Your Hand might have surpassed the million sales on advance sales alone. 1964, the Beatles played two shows at the City Hall in Sheffield for their British tour. Moving on to 1965, on this date, between 2.30 and 5.30 pm, George Martin was at the EMI Studios in London to complete the monomixes of Michelle, What Goes On, Run For Your Life, Think For Yourself and the Beatles' third Christmas record. This latter tape was also subject to a heavy editing session. After that, Martin tackled the stereo mixes of Michelle, Think For Yourself and What Goes On. The Beatles were probably not present. And how could we close the episode without the unrelentless work on the editing of the Magical Mystery Tour film? As usual, it went on with another session at Norman's Film Productions on the 9th of November 1967. As you might expect, there is another thing that I have to remind you before drawing the curtain on this episode. If you feel like you want to help me out with the production of this and other music-related contents, please visit www.simonmas.com support to see what you can do. Thank you! 
and see you tomorrow for more stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.